In our previous video, we started with the basics of Nmap scanning, where we used Nmap commands to scan a single target. Now, if you look at the help file, you'll notice that there are multiple parameters that we can pass to an Nmap scan in order to get more accurate results. If you look at some of the important scanner parameters, such as SV, these are looking for open ports to determine service as well as version information. We also have ST and we have O, which is used for operating system detection. We can also add a time-based scan to limit a minimum amount of time that is required to scan a particular port number. So if you look at the different scan parameters available to us, we can pass the ST parameter, which can look for a TCP scan. We can also have an SYN scan, which is the SS parameter. This is considered as a stealthier scan to override firewall protection. We can also have an ACK scan with the SA parameter. It scans by sending different ACK packets to the target system. All different scans are similar. The only difference lies in the type of package that is sent to the target in order to determine the open ports. So let us do a simple TCP scan on our target, 192.160.56.1, and figure out what result it returns. You can see that it has returned different ports open along with the services running on the particular port. Similarly, we can club multiple parameters into a single scan type. I can club the TCP scan with a version detection scan, if I also have to figure out the different versions of services that are running on it. Let us see what result this scan returns. In a few minutes, you'll notice a more descriptive result, returned by Nmap this time. As you can see, it has to detect different versions of operating systems that are running on our target system. We can see, for example, that 9.12 is running a VMware authentication daemon. Similarly, we have the RPC service running multiple ports. So, this is how we are actually identifying the different versions of services for the open ports. Furthermore, we can perform another interesting scan to detect the operating system that is running on our targets. To do this, we'll be using the O parameter. Let us see how the Nmap successfully determines the operating system of our target system or not. Nmap has returned a slightly confusing result, running Microsoft Windows 7, Vista, or 2008. This is because the operating system detection is completely based on the different ports which Nmap detects. If, by default, it identifies the port number 445 is opened, and a NetBIOS service is running on it, it will certainly be a Windows operating system. Now, based on the versions of NetBIOS and the other parameters, Nmap tries to figure out which version of Windows it actually uses. So in our case, operating system detection is a little mixed up, even though Nmap has tried to figure out that it is Microsoft Windows 7 professional. In many cases, this result can be false. It's still a very important scan type to try and figure out the operating system running on our target machine. So this was an advanced discussion about Nmap. You can try out all the different parameters that are there by using the help command. Clubbing the multiple scan types using different parameters can make our scan more understandable, more enhanced, and can also return better results.